Why do you need to worry about being in ketosis and having excess ketones in your blood if you're not eating carbs? If your carbs are below 25, some people can be 50, some people can be 100 and still maintain a good amount of ketones in their blood. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Coach Bronson here. And today we're going to talk about a common misunderstanding that I talk to people about a lot with ketones, ketosis, what it means to be ketogenic. I'm going to give you three very specific things that you can do to improve your journey and progress with a proper understanding of what ketones are about, what ketosis is about, and how to leverage being ketogenic following a ketogenic diet, um, what that means for your body composition and your quality of life. Before we do that, before I jump into that, I, I, as always, I want to ask you to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, please click the bell so you're notified every single time I come out with a new video. There's at least two every week. And most importantly, share this information, share this video with somebody who may be on the journey, maybe asking questions, maybe stuck trying to figure out how to get to the next level. It's possible, maybe, hopefully, perhaps, that the information in this video or in other videos that I've done can be helpful to them and help them move forward. All right. What is the ketogenic diet? What is ketosis? Why are ketones important? The common thread, a common thread that I get through a lot of questions and a lot of interaction with clients and people online is an attempt, a focus, uh, people getting stuck trying to maintain ketosis. Um, there's a lot of talk about the benefits of ketones and how we have to have ketones in our system in order to benefit from the ketogenic diet, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I want to define a couple of things for you and put some things in context, okay? And then we'll talk about what that means and how to move forward from here. All right, first thing we need to understand, ketosis by definition means excess ketones in the blood, okay? Excess means more than your body can utilize. If you are in ketosis, you have more ketones in your blood than your body can process at any given time, okay? Extra, excess. You can't do anything with them. That's why they get moved out of the body. That's why our body eliminates them, okay? It's just like having high blood sugar. It's just like having high blood glucose. The difference is, right, high blood sugar, glucose in your system, glucose in your blood that your body can't use. It's got to do something with it. Glucose gets stored as fat. Ketones get expelled from the body. Very big difference. That's the biggest difference here. Now, either way, it's excess fuel that our body can't use. We need to understand that. Being in ketosis, by definition, means you have fuel in your body that it cannot use. Okay. Now, the whole idea of the ketogenic, I want you to put that in the back of your mind. The whole idea of the ketogenic diet, where does it come from? It comes from medical intervention. It comes from people realizing that brain disorders and brain injuries benefited, people with brain disorders and brain uh, injuries benefited from having higher levels of ketones compared to carbs. And that if they supplemented with ketones, if they reduced carb intake, and if they did things to optimize the ketogenic state of the human body, that these people saw improvement in their conditions. Okay. How did they do that? What do those interventions look like? Well, they look like an overall reduction in protein and a higher percentage because in med medicine, they use calories. So it's all ratios. So it's a higher percentage of fat to protein. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're shoving a bunch more fat into these people's faces. It just means that they are increasing the amount of fat compared to the protein that someone is eating and reducing their overall carb intake. And what we failed to miss, what a lot of people don't remember is ketone supplementation is part of the intervention. They add ketone esters because they want to make sure that not only is the body producing ketones, breaking down fat to make ketones, but that there are enough ketones extra to ensure that the ketones are being utilized by the body to help improve the condition. So when we look at medical interventions, ketogenic medical interventions. We're looking at ketosis of 2.5 or 3 to 5 or higher, 
right? 2.5 to 3 to 5 millimoles per liter is what the medical nu- medical nutritional ketosis is. That's the medical intervention, okay? If you have a brain injury. So my question for those people that ask who are talking about, I'm trying to stay at, at 3 millimoles of, ke- of ketones, stay in ketosis. Why are you trying to be at 3? Do you have a medical con- medical condition? If you don't have a medical condition, then being at a three isn't doing anything for you. Okay. And here's the, here's the kicker. Here's what that, why that matters. Being at a three may not do anything for the person getting the medical intervention. It may, they may only need one and a half or two millimoles per liter of ketones in their blood in order to see benefit. But in order to ensure that the medical intervention is doing what it's supposed to do, the number is always going to be higher. It is a buffer to make sure that the ketones are doing what they need to do to make to 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 help fix and improve the efficiency of that person's brain and central nervous system. Okay, it has nothing to do that medical interventions for brain health and brain trauma have nothing to do with body composition. In fact, one of the reasons why they supplement with ketones instead of just adding more fat is because if you add more fat, what's going to happen to the people who are sitting in a bed? They're going to get fat. Now you're, you're creating another problem, right? So medical interventions are designed to optimize ketone level to ensure it's insurance. That extra ketone number, that 2.5 to 5 is insurance to make sure that the ketones are doing what they're doing. They don't need that for general health, okay? So understanding that. When we look at the ketogenic diet for body composition, quality of life, fat loss, physical improvement, all those different things. Now we're talking about, okay, what, what is the benefit? What does it mean to be ketogenic? Well, medical intervention, ketogenic means in ketosis. That is not what it actually means. Ketogenic adaptation, your metabolism functioning off of ketones is a process of its ability to break down fat create ketones, and then utilize ketones. The benefits that we get from ketones on a ketogenic diet come from the presence of ketones and the utilization of ketones. Okay. What does that mean? That means there's a beginning and an end to where the range of benefits come from. Our body benefits by having ketones in our system. If we have excess body fat, then our body has plenty of places to get ketones from. That is part of being ketogenic. Ketogenic is not just burning ketones. Ketogenic means your body can generate ketones by breaking down fat, processing fatty, doing fatty acid oxidation, and then generating ketones as a byproduct. Okay. So ketones from body fat, that's one benefit. Ketones in your system. Just having ketones circulating around in your blood, hitting all your cells, doing all the things helps all sorts of stuff. The presence of ketones helps with um, all sorts of hormone things. It helps with proteolysis, uh, reduce proteolysis, which means it helps reduce protein breakdown. It helps inhibit glycolysis. It helps reduce the the body's need to break down uh, glycogen for glucose. Uh, It does a whole bunch of cool things. It increases brown fat. There's the benefits of having ketones is amazing. Now, do they need to be super high? No, they're there already. They're there already. Your body is making them. It is your primary source of fuel. They are everywhere. Okay. The extra benefit, the real benefit for metabolic function and efficiency and stress reduction and inflammation reduction in the whole entire system of your metabolism comes from when your mitochondria use ketones for fuel. Your mitochondria love ketones, but they don't love hanging out with ketones. They love using ketones, right? When they utilize ketones for fuel, they get more energy at less cost. They work more efficiently. There's less inflammation and oxidative stress. It helps them function, repair, and reproduce better. Our body has to use the ketones in order to get the full benefit of the ketones. So if I have high ketones and they're just sitting around and my body has to get rid of them because it can't use them, what's the benefit? Why am I trying to do that? Okay, 
Now you could say, well, just same way as med- as the medical intervention piece. I'm just making sure that I'm at at a three so that I make sure that I have enough for my body to use as needed. Okay, cool. I can see that. That makes sense, right? I want, it's an insurance. If I'm at a three, I'm making sure that I have ketones. So when I'm doing all these things that my body has to be using ketones. Okay, cool. But you're doing that by eating 18 sticks of butter a day. And you're wondering why you can't lose body fat. Here's the thing. Here's the mindset shift. The first mindset shift I want you to make. If you are only putting fat in your body and protein, if you already have excess body fat on you, what else does your body have to use? Why do you need to worry about being in ketosis and having excess ketones in your blood if you're not eating carbs? If your carbs are below 25, some people can be 50, some people can be 100 and still maintain um, a, a good amount of ketones in their blood. If you're super low level of carbs, I'm at less than 10 a day. Why in the world would I ever need to worry about if I'm in ketosis or not? Who cares? That's all my body has to use. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. I'm a little fluffy right now. I'm trying to, I just decided I'm starting a cut, right? Cause I'm at a higher body fat percentage than I want to be. I have body fat that my, that my body can break down and make ketones. I don't need to eat a ton of fat to get ketones. I don't need to be in ketosis. I want to use, if I test and I'm over 3.3.4, then I know something's wrong because I should be at a 0.1.2 if I test my ketones. I want, I want low ketones. I want to know that my body is using the ketones it's making. I'm not wasting it. So that's something to think about, number one. Number two, stop worrying about breaking ketosis. You don't need to be in ketosis all the time. Uh, and that just goes back to the whole concept of do we even need to be in ketosis at all? You're going to be in ketosis, right? There's going to be times where your ketones are higher, your ketones are lower, it goes up and down. You don't need to be in a state of ketosis all the time. So if you can stop chasing that, if you can stop chasing ketones, if you can stop measuring, that's the, that's the second tip, stop measuring. Who cares, right? You don't need to be in ketosis, number one. You don't need to be in it all the time, and you don't need to measure it. And then lastly, uh, the mistake that most people make, and I mentioned this kind of alluded to this earlier, is trying to stay in ketosis by eating a lot of fat. Until you understand that fat is a, primarily, there are other things that fat is used for, but the largest percentage of the usage that our body has for fat is energy. It's primarily energy. So if you're intaking more energy than your body needs, it's going to store it, whether it's fat, whether it's carbs, it doesn't matter. It's not just about um, ketones. It's not just about ketosis. If you have body fat on your body that you're trying to get rid of, stop guzzling all the fat. The benefits that we get from being ketogenic don't come from having ketones that our body can't use. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community, you can meet other people, you can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.